kept saying it during the regular season that you know it, how you were able to, to protect your own net was going to determine how far you guys were going to get in the postseason. What you guys were able to do tonight, you know, especially in that third period, is that more back to what you know, championship lightning? Well, basically, all twenty guys, you might as well put eighty-eight on their back. I mean, that's what they were doing. They were fully committed um, to blocking shots, and and when you play with that passion, um, you know, usually good things happen. But in this, in saying that, you still have to get the lead. And I thought the big thing for us was, you know, Riley scores, Paul answers three minutes later. So we never gave them a chance to get any momentum going, and I thought that was a huge part of the game. The electricity in this building was nuts, so to come in and, and work as hard as we did, um, there was no uh, no doubt in our game. We stuck together as a team, and we, we everyone brought their A game, blocking shots, being detailed, being hard on pucks, winning their battles, uh, and to pull one out uh, in a building like this, especially uh, being from here, family in the stands, it was a, it was a big one. Nick, before the game, uh, Corey Perry talked about how game sevens were a chance to make a name make a, a legacy what was your mentality coming into the game everything's on the line it's game seven you know i'm not going to change the way i've been playing i've been playing my heart out and having chances and tonight just happened going in um but i can't but it's it's the plays that happen around it you know killer on the second one big hit puck comes loose uh sergey making a block on the first one into the corner uh goes the other way guys driving you know it was a team game uh obviously I was one that ended up putting in that, but it was it was the whole everyone on the ice making the plays happen. So, um, you know, like I said, everyone brought their A game, everyone was ready, um, and everyone was confident. We knew we were coming out with a win that in that game, uh, and and we we came together and we did it. I would say maybe it was winnable like later in the series. Sorry, earlier in the series, but later, like the last two games, we're going to show the shot blocks here. Like this is a championship team, and this team gets in game it done. seven, yes, and yeah. But watch, just watch the level of compete here. Watch, like the Leafs had so many chances that didn't get to the net. I don't know what the final shot block total was. It was like probably in the 30s. But the Leafs got a little gun shy here because there were so many blocks. Every single guy in the team. It was a very calm. You look at their bench. They look at their dressing room. They just knew what to do, Jen. Well, they did, but I'm going to go back a little bit to this approach on what they do because whether they didn't adjust as necessary during certain games to figure out what is the solution. Yes, we've done things this season we've never accomplished before as a group. Individuals have had career bests, but they couldn't find a way to get the puck through or make in-game adjustments to get those results and to get a win in the playoffs. So they lose Braden Point. That's another yes. thing. But you know the funny thing, Kelly, about Tampa is they did not win a division any of these three seasons. Yep. They were a second and third place club in their division. Uh, let Just alone get so, in, and so, they trust them. So they do seem remember, to have remember the mistakes they were making early in the series. We're like, wow, this is not the Tampa Bay team we're used to. They didn't make any of those tonight. No mistakes. Tampa. And